Let's first delve into the electoral landscape and the key dynamics shaping the 2024 U.S. presidential race. This contest between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris has become one of the most intense and closely watched political battles in modern history. Every state matters, but key battleground states such as Arizona, Georgia, Florida, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin are pivotal in determining the ultimate outcome. The race is rapidly evolving, with recent polling data showing surprising shifts across the nation. As we approach Election Day, let's examine the intricate details and latest developments as of October 22, 2024. Please subscribe to our channel. The 2024 presidential election is shaping up to be one of the most consequential elections in U.S. history. As the country continues to grapple with economic challenges, social movements, and policy debates, voters are deeply divided between two candidates who represent starkly different visions for America's future. Former President Donald Trump, who seeks a return to the White House after his defeat in 2020, has built his campaign on promises of economic resurgence, a tough stance on immigration, and a rollback of progressive policies. On the other hand, Vice President Kamala Harris, who stepped into the presidential race following President Joe Biden's decision not to seek re-election, has energized a broad coalition of progressive, urban, and minority voters with her focus on climate change, social justice, and economic reforms. With every state playing a crucial role in the election, some states have emerged as key battlegrounds. When either candidate has a clear and overwhelming advantage, these states are expected to determine the final outcome, and both campaigns are pouring resources into these regions in hopes of securing the necessary electoral votes to win the presidency. Let's take a detailed look at how each state is shaping up, based on the latest polling data as of October 22, 2024. Arizona has become one of the most fiercely contested states in recent election cycles. The state's demographics are rapidly shifting due to an influx of younger, more progressive voters and growing Latino communities. Traditionally a Republican stronghold, Arizona has become increasingly competitive, especially as urban areas like Phoenix and Tucson expand and diversify. Donald Trump continues to maintain a solid base of support in rural areas of Arizona, where conservative values remain strong. However, Kamala Harris has made significant inroads in urban areas particularly among younger voters and Latinos. The latest polling data suggests that the race is incredibly tight, with Harris gaining momentum in the final weeks leading up to Election Day. Arizona's status as a battleground state is further cemented by its shifting political landscape, making it one of the most closely watched states this election cycle. Georgia, once a reliably red state, has become a key battleground due to shifting demographics in suburban areas around Atlanta. The state's growing population of college-educated voters and minorities has made it increasingly competitive for Democrats, and Kamala Harris has capitalized on these changes by focusing on issues such as health care, climate change, and voting rights. I, in contrast, Donald Trump continues to hold a strong lead in rural parts of Georgia, where his message of economic conservatism and support for traditional values resonates with voters. However, the rapid growth of suburban areas, combined with a more politically engaged electorate, has tilted the balance slightly in Harris's favor. Polls show the race tightening, with Harris gaining ground among suburban voters and younger demographics, which could be critical in deciding the outcome in Georgia. Florida, with its 30 electoral votes, remains one of the most coveted states in the election. The state's diverse population, which includes a significant Latino community, retirees, and working-class voters, makes it a microcosm of the broader U.S. electorate. Polling data as of late October suggests a highly competitive race, with both candidates vying for critical voting blocks. Kamala Harris has made gains among Latino voters, particularly younger Cuban Americans and Puerto Ricans, who are drawn to her progressive stance on immigration and social justice issues. On the other hand, Donald Trump continues to perform well with older voters and those in rural areas, where his emphasis on strong national security and lower taxes resonates deeply. The battle for Florida is expected to be razor-thin, with both campaigns ramping up their efforts to mobilize voters in key regions like Miami-Dade, Tampa Bay, and Orlando. Pennsylvania, Biden's home state turns blue again. Pennsylvania, the birthplace of President Joe Biden, has emerged as one of the most important swing states in this election. While Biden's influence still holds sway in many parts of the state, Kamala Harris has managed to solidify her support in urban and suburban areas particularly around Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. Her focus on economic policies that prioritize working-class families, coupled with her commitment to addressing climate change, has won over many voters who felt left behind in recent years. Meanwhile, Donald Trump continues to draw strong support from rural Pennsylvania, 
where voters are drawn to his economic policies and stance on energy, particularly coal and natural gas. The state's economic dependence on the energy sector has made Trump a favorite in these areas. However, the growing suburban vote around major metropolitan areas has shifted the race slightly in Harris's favor, making Pennsylvania a critical battleground in the final stretch of the campaign. Wisconsin, a blue wall rebuilt, Wisconsin was part of the blue wall that fell to Donald Trump in 2016, but Kamala Harris is hoping to rebuild that wall in 2024. Harris's campaign has focused heavily on issues that resonate with Wisconsin voters, including health care, education, and union rights. Polling data suggests that Harris is gaining ground, particularly in urban areas like Milwaukee and Madison, where her progressive policies are widely supported. Rural Wisconsin, however, remains firmly in Trump's camp. Trump's message of economic nationalism and his promises to revitalize manufacturing have played well with voters in these areas. As the election draws near, both campaigns are doubling down on their efforts in Wisconsin, with Harris working to energize young and minority voters, while Trump aims to maintain his dominance in rural areas. I, in addition to these critical battlegrounds, several other states are also playing an important role in shaping the electoral map. Let's take a closer look at some of these states' Arkansas. A strong rural base has solidified Trump's lead in Arkansas, making it a reliably red state. Harris has focused little attention here, given the state's deep conservative roots. California, Kamala Harris's home state remains a Democratic stronghold, with Harris enjoying overwhelming support in urban and suburban areas. California's large population and progressive values have made it a cornerstone of Harris's electoral strategy. Iowa, trade issues have helped Harris gain an edge in Iowa where voters are increasingly concerned about the impact of Trump's trade policies on the state's agricultural economy. However, Trump remains competitive in rural areas. Maine, coastal voters have pushed Maine towards Harris, though Trump continues to hold a significant lead in the state's rural areas. Michigan, union support has shifted Michigan toward Harris, as voters in the state's industrial centers rally behind her promises to protect workers' rights and revitalize manufacturing jobs. Texas, once a reliably red state. Texas has become increasingly competitive due to demographic shifts and rapid urbanization. Harris has made significant gains in urban areas like Houston and Dallas, but Trump's strong rural base keeps the state in play for Republicans. Point one of the key factors shaping the 2024 election is the shifting demographics across the country. Urbanization, population growth in suburban areas, and the increasing political engagement of minority communities have all contributed to changes in voter preferences and party alignments. In many traditionally conservative states, such as Georgia and Texas, these demographic shifts have made the political landscape much more competitive, giving Democrats like Kamala Harris a chance to win over new voters. Additionally, younger voters, particularly those in urban and suburban areas, are increasingly aligning with the Democratic Party due to issues such as climate change, healthcare, and social justice. Harris's progressive platform has resonated with these voters, while Trump's base remains strong among older, rural, and working-class voters who prioritize issues like national security, economic growth, and traditional values. As Election Day approaches, the excitement and tension surrounding the 2024 presidential race have reached unprecedented levels. The contest between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris has electrified the nation, with both candidates fighting for every vote in key battleground states. The electoral map is full of surprises, and as the latest polling data shows, no state can be taken for granted. As we look ahead to November, it is clear that this election will be one of the most closely watched and consequential in American history. The stakes are high, and the outcome will shape the future of the country for years to come. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates, in depth analysis, and live coverage of the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the critical developments in this historic race. See you in the next video.